A study in depression on the Jamaica Constabulary Force has left one researcher calling for assistance for the ailing members. Trisha Gay Kelly has been tracking this story. What we found fascinating though when we actually disaggregated the data was that a number of persons who are in the general area of policing were the ones who were most depressed. That's a sign of trouble, as described by researcher Dr. Paul Bourne, who recently conducted a study on depression within the Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF. His study found that majority of the police force battles with depression, some at a critical stage. Dr. Bourne says it's not safe for these JCF members to interact with the public with a weapon at that stage. If it is that you are talking about an officer who is clinically depressed, highly depressed, and he or she has a gun, then that's a dangerous police officer to be on the road. So we are saying mandatory every, four, every quarter in terms of police officers being assessed in terms of their level of depression. And when the results are in, we determine where an officer is placed. And though the research also states that women in the force are at twice the risk of being depressed, there is concern that male members may have challenges coping. As quantum transformational psychologist Dr. Leah Kim Samaj explains, they are also less likely to seek help. Men have a very low health-seeking behavior. They don't seek help. And in the absence of not seeking help, there's all the issue of self-diagnosis and self-medication <laughs> and inappropriate responses. Because I know of a number of actual situations where policemen have shared with me the kind of, let's call it destructive behaviors that they engage in so as to alleviate the stressor, alleviate the depression. Dr. Bourne's advice is to give critically depressed members of the force a break from heavily tasked areas. As for those who are not as depressed but could reach that point, he suggests regular checkups. One fundamental recommendation that we are actually um, purporting is that police officers go through mandate, mandatory assessment, possibly every quarter, mm. to sort of see where they are. What we are trying to do now is to establish um, the level of depression among these officers, and we are saying if these officers are found to be highly depressed, we are saying take them off of frontline duty and do not give them a gun. The battle for health is now on as JCF members fight not only to serve and protect others, but also themselves. Trisha Gay Kelly, CVM News.